Hello and welcome to the first episode of the SimRider 101 series. My name is Brandon and I'll be giving you a quick overview of the SimRider interface today. Uh, just a brief description of the various components you'll be interacting with. Um, as you progress from novice to professional sim simulation author, keep in mind as I'm brushing over these elements that future episodes will be dedicated to in-depth instruction. Right now, I just want to familiarize uh, you with the location and purpose of the primary components. And the three primary components, um, really the heart of SimRider, are represented by these three tabs, which run along the top of the interface, the Map tab, the Write tab, and the Design tab. From left to right, let's start with the map tab. Think of the map tab as your 30,000 foot view of the simulation. This is like the macro view of the simulation. You can see the various stages, you know, how they're linked, um, the general flow of the simulation. This macro view um, is the primary element that allows you to access the multitude of individual elements that make up a, a sim, you know, the dialogue, media components, behavior, script, you know, so on. You know, in the old days, before SimWriter, if you were long-handing a simulation project, uh, you may have chosen, like, Visio to map your simulation or Post-it notes on the wall. You know, for my first sim project, I actually used a long piece of paper, which I drew a diagram and then hand-wrote notes that referenced dialogue in a Word document. So anyway, I think, you know, thank goodness I don't have to do that anymore. Anyway... As you notice, as I click on the various icons on the map tab, various things are highlighting over here in the right tab. And that really is one of the most powerful things about SimWriter. Every element within SimWriter works in harmony with the others. When I change something in one of the tabs, the other two are dynamically updated. And, you know, you know basically it means that, you know, you don't have to map your simulation in one application and then, you know, laboriously port that information over to a word processing application which then would need to be coded in yet another program. So, you know, SimWriter does all of that in one package. Anyway, sorry, that brings me to the Write tab. This is where all of your dialogue is written. So an easy analogy to a program you may have used in the past to author your Sim would be a word processing application such as Microsoft Word. However, a lot more happens on this tab than just dialogue or script creation. Many of the actions that would have required programming or coding in the past are easily available here, like assigning characters, assigning media, and scoring, you know, just to name a few. Um, once again, you'll notice that as I'm working in the right tab, um, the, the map tab is constantly updating. And the same is true for the design tab, although you can't see the updates unless I bring it to the front. The design tab, as its title suggests, gives you a WYSIWYG interface to lay out graphical and media elements. Uh, you can also type decision points directly onto the stage. You can link media. And well, really, you can control a lot of things directly on the stage. And, and you know, you have to do it through the properties window uh, many times. But keep in mind that the design tab allows you to lay out your elements. There's really no media or graphic creation that happens here. Um, you'll need to import those elements into SimWriter. And once again, updates conducted here in the design tab are automatically shown throughout the other tabs. And above the three windows, you'll notice an array of button menus and drop-down menus, all of which we'll cover in detail during upcoming episodes. These menus allow you to um, add to, um, control, and modify your sim in many ways. And the button menus facilitate everything from adding and deleting components to aligning elements, type controls, and there's toggles for modal windows, there's spell checking, um, all sorts of stuff. And the drop-down menus above the menu um, buttons basically allow everything the button menus do, um, plus a lot more advanced features around, um, like your simulation setup, publish settings, collaboration features, and things like that. Um, once again, be patient. All of this will be covered in depth during upcoming episodes. And with that said, um, really, that was an overview of the SimWriter interface, primarily, once again, the map, the write and design tabs, which um, those are the places you'll be spending the majority of your time um, as you design the, the great sims you're sure to develop as you learn this amazing tool. Um, be sure to check out next episode as we start to investigate these elements more in depth.